Okay, so this video is going to go through the way of estimating the standard deviation. So we have this set of data, which looks approximately symmetric. So we can assume a normal distribution. And it says to test the temperature control of an oven, the control is set to 180 degrees and the oven is heated for 15 minutes. The temperature of the oven is then measured. 300 ovens were tested in this way. The temperatures were recorded and are displayed below using both a histogram and a box plot. And question three says using using the 68, 99.7% rule, the standard deviation for temperature is closest to A, B, C, D. Okay. So what do we need to know? We need to know that with the normal distribution, the whole thing is 100%. Okay. So underneath this bell-shaped curve is 100%. This middle line is the median, uh, median and mean. We'll put x bar for mean. And we have some standard deviations. And the standard deviation is just a number. So that means that one standard deviation, that distance, the same as that distance away, which is the same as that distance away. And we know that this section within one standard deviation is 68%. And then we know that within this amount, within two standard deviations, within all of that, that's 95% and then within three standard deviations we have most of the data. Within three standard deviations we have 99.7% of the entire data. So it's pretty close to 100%. All right. Now, we're going to use this rule to give a closest to or an approximation of the standard deviation. So because the standard deviation is just a number, um, and then when you have it within three standard deviations, you have it above the mean three, one, two, three, so there's there's one, there's two standard deviations, there's three standard deviations above the mean and three standard deviations below the mean as well. So those parts are all equal. That length there is that length, which is that length. So that means in total there's six equal parts there which cover 99.7% of the data. So if I know the range of this distribution, which I do, it's given by 187 to 173, I can read it from the histogram or the box plot, then I know that my data ranges from 187 to 173, which is 14 degrees, the range is 14 degrees, and the standard deviation is going to be 14 if I'm treating it as the whole 100% divided by your six equal parts, which is approximately 100%, almost 100% to 99.7. So you can just plug this into your calculator, but what you're going to get to do it manually is um, 2 and 2 sixths, which is 2 and a third, which is 2.33. Okay, and if you plug it into your calculator and you get some sort of fraction, you don't know how to interpret it, you go control plus enter, and that will give you the decimal 
equivalent. And then we look at our multiple choice answers, and the one that is closest to is 2 degrees. So the answer is B.